How's it going everyone? It's Javi Foam by the Swan Drop 1000 and in this video of course we're going to talk more about this next Midwest and Northeast snowstorm which is expected to dump over a foot of snow in many areas of the northern United States and we're going to determine if we're going to see that heavy snow move into the bigger cities in the Northeast. But before I begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather day causes. So let's begin by taking a look at the GFS computer model and we do see that the GFS model is quickly expecting the solar pressure system to strengthen and in, and um, strengthen quite rapidly where we do see a large area of snow develop right around the northern Midwest and we do see the snow heavy at times and we of course there's a lot of cold air that's going to create a high level of instability it's pretty much guaranteed at this point the northern Midwest will experience a significant snowstorm and I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some areas break records when it comes to total snowfall and so definitely make sure to take precaution right around the northern Midwest and if I were to continue to move into the more long term future we do see that this snowstorm will eventually move into the northeast where there's still a decent level of uncertainty unlike what we're seeing in the mid um in the midwest where it's pretty much it's pretty certain at this point we're going to see a very significant snowstorm and we do see the millibar pressure drop down to low 990s which means that we're likely to see strong winds associated with this low as well now take a look at how this storm will develop in the northeast of course as the solar pressure system continues to head further eastward we're still going to see a persistent amount of cold air that's going to be pushed by the strong winds associated with this low pressure system which is the reason why blizzard warnings are issued right around the midwest and that persistent level of northerly winds will continue to push that arctic air further south where to force that arctic air to interact with the very warm and moist air mass that's okay right around southeast where severe thunderstorms are likely associated with this instability and as a result that instability will likely develop another trough right around the Ohio River Valley which likely will become the uh, um the next northeast snowstorm well i shouldn't even say likely it will become the next northeast snowstorm where it's pretty much inevitable at this point some um somewhere in the northeast you'll at least experience snow associated with this chop and we do see a heavy amount of snow in certain areas of the northeast where we see pennsylvania and even northern new jersey not too far from new york city get impacted by snow and we do see a pretty large area of connecticut as well get impacted by snow and even a large portion of massachusetts and New England and while for the bigger cities such as New York City and even Philadelphia it's primarily a rain event in the GFS model scenario of course we can't rule out the chance that this forecast could shift further southeastward since we're still around three to four days out from this event and remember any minuscule changes with the forecast can make a big difference in terms of whether you experience snowfall or not so if we were to see this move let's say 20 miles to the southeast and new york city could get be involved in the snowfall as well as boston so you definitely still want to be aware of this in the bigger cities of the northeast because the forecast is far from certain still and what will really determine if we're going to see this um, snow in the bigger cities and really determine where the heaviest snow will be is will all depend on the position of the jet stream the gfs model is expecting the jet stream to dip to be less significant which means that we're likely to see the storm move a little bit more due east rather than northward very quickly and if this storm were to move a little bit more due east then it's more likely that the northeast would experience more on the back side of this so system the cooler backside which would mean that the um, bigger northeast cities and those along the coast would be more likely to perceive snowfall while if the european models case was correct where the jet stream dip is a little bit more significant then we're more likely to see the soil pressure system move up the jet stream and move northward a lot more quickly than gfs model which would mean that by the time the soil pressure system reaches the northeast it's going to be pretty much centered right over the coastal areas to where it'll primarily be a rain event where we do see that the European wall wants to bring the heaviest snow more towards the interior northeast rather than the coastal areas and 
a lot of the areas closer along the coast such as northern new jersey connecticut where they're receiving snowfall in the gfs model in the european model they aren't receiving any snowfall at all as a result of this much more significant jet stream dip which is manipulating the jet stream winds to shift along the eastern side to more from a um to more of a southerly direction rather than a southeasterly direction which means that this solar pressure system will move northward a lot quicker and that would mean that the coastal areas of the northeast would experience the eastern side of the solar pressure system which of course is the warmer side the side where you the the east coast would experience the southerly wind component of the solar pressure system and as all that would force the warmer air in, up along the coast for it to um for the possibility of snow to definitely not be there as a result of how warm the temperature is so um, still a hot, still a decent amount of uncertainty regarding the significance of this jet stream bit, but I could say with certainty that the interior northeast will likely experience a pretty significant snowstorm, especially in the higher elevations. So we need to prepare for that possibility throughout the interior northeast. For those, I'd say just to the northwest of the Interstate 95 corridor, such as maybe around 10 to 20 miles just to the northwest, you could experience snowfall, but it's still uncertain at this time. And new for the bigger cities such as New York City and Boston, I wouldn't rule out that possibility you do experience snowfall, but I'd say it's becoming less, a little bit less likely at this point. You're going to see very significant snowfall if you do receive snowfall, as it seems like I, I just find it hard to believe that we're going to see a major shift in the forecast where it's entirely a snow event for Boston, New York City, and Philadelphia. I think if you're if you really want the snow in those major northeast cities i think the best case scenario is that you do receive a prolonged period of snow before it changes over to rain um but that still could dump like a, a very heavy amount of snow so you don't want to underestimate that as well so we're still going to need to pay close attention to how significant this jet stream dip will be to determine if the coastal areas of the northeast will receive a heavy amount of snowfall. And of course, we're going to need to see how much cold air will be locked in place by the time so precious enters the northeast. Because if we do see the northwest, the northwesterly winds a little bit stronger associated with this chop, then that would straighten out the jet stream to a point where the storm would move due east rather than a little bit northward too quickly so that would bring more of the back side of this old pressism to where the suddenly wind component of the low pressure won't um, won't be there as the low pressure system approaches the northeast for the temperatures to be a lot cooler and the chance of snow to be a lot higher so we're gonna need to pay close attention over the next several days how strong the northerly winds will be right around northeast to determine how the jet stream will position itself because if it's a little straightened out then the chance of snow cl um, closer along the coast is definitely more likely but we're gonna need to just wait and see um um wait and see on that but in terms of the strength of this storm it's it's pretty likely the storm will be rather powerful there is enough of a significant enough jet stream dip to create enough instability for this storm to rapidly intensify as it enters the northeast and same goes for the midwest where we do see a heavy amount of snow and strong winds associated with this storm take a look at the snowfall forecast from the european model we do see that the european model is forecasting a large area of over a foot of snow throughout the midwest where we do see some areas receive over two feet of snow and i wouldn't be surprised if we see localized areas where you receive 30 inches of snow and you see that this extends the northern minnesota area as well as wisconsin and then to your northeast we do see the heaviest um snow um right is right around upstate new york and the northern portion of pennsylvania where we do see a large area of the interior northeast receiving over a foot of snow but look at the cities receiving little to no snow at all it is definitely a lot different from what we see with the gfs model because the gfs model does want to bring a much more significant snowstorm much closer to the coast where we do see that northern New Jersey could experience over a foot of snow if the GFS model scenario was correct and even Connecticut could be right there to receiving heavy snowfall and this um, let me move on to the 18Z run this is the latest run that was a 12Z run but not much differences between the 18Z and the 12Z run where we do see in fact a little bit more snow move a little bit westward in the 18Z 
18Z run where Hartford gets involved with 6 to 10 inches of snow and Boston is right there um, receiving right around 1 to 3 inches of snow in this scenario and then if we were to zoom in to New York City you see New York City is right at the border between receiving no snow at all to receiving 12 to 24 inches of snow in the GFS models scenario so still definitely very very um this is going to be a very close forecast the european model doesn't want to bring snow anywhere close to new york city but the um but the gfs model wants to bring snow extremely close along the interstate 95 corridor so that's only something to keep in mind over the next several days but it's pretty much inevitable at this point the midwest will experience a major snowstorm and the interior northeast but in the gfs model scenario the interior northeast interestingly enough doesn't experience as heavy snowfall where we do see the andirondacks only receive around 6 to 12 inches in comparison to 12 to 24 inches that the european model is forecasting while the area where where you receive 12 to 24 inches is located closer to the coast where new jersey the northwestern portion of new jersey the Catskill Mountains area as well as the Pocono Mountains receives the worst of snowfall in this scenario. So we're going to need to wait and see how the jet stream will position itself. And I'd say we, we really get a good idea by tomorrow or maybe the day after um, um, to determine whether or not we're going to see heavy snow um, where exactly we're going to see heavy snowfall right along the northeast. So I'll keep you guys updated over the next several days. Now take a look at the future cast radar to see when the northern Midwest could experience very heavy snowfall. We do see that the heavy snowfall should begin right around the morning time on Tuesday and it should be an all day event for much of South Dakota and the northern portion of North Dakota and we do see the snow will eventually extend to the northern portion of Minnesota as well the snow should be heavy at times this should happen right around Wednesday morning for Minnesota and we do see the snow is just quite persistent right around the Dakotas where we do see the snow extend into the Wednesday time frame and we do see that this storm is quickly developing right around the Ohio River Valley and soon we're going to see this rain that you see right here change over the snow as this approaches the northeast now take a look at the north atlantic oscillation and you see that we are near the peak at this point when it comes to a negative north atlantic oscillation which is part of the reason why we're experiencing this snowstorm throughout the midwest and eventually the northeast so that's only something to keep in mind that we're likely to experience quarter and snowy than average conditions during the mid to late december time period so definitely pay close attention to that and take a look at my snowfall for accumulation forecast so i did make some changes i am mimicking a little bit more of what the gfs model is stating for the forecast in the northeast where i'm expecting 12 to 24 inches right around the northwestern portion of new jersey the pocono mountains area as well as a large portion of upstate new york this includes albany as well as new hampshire vermont and the western portion of massachusetts you could experience over a foot of snow and for new jersey it's going to be a very close forecast because you could either experience no snow at all or potentially 6 to 12 inches of snow so I'll keep you guys updated over the next several days boston is experiencing right around one to three inches of snow in this scenario and new york city i'm currently not expecting any snowfall accumulation for new york city but you're right at the border so you could maybe experience maybe one to three or maybe even more than that if the gfs model scenario is correct and then we see additional shifts to where the low pressure system moves even a little bit more southeastward than the gfs model anticipates but i'll keep you guys updated if we do see any major shifts with our computer models over the next several days and of course saying look at the midwest you could experience over two feet of snow which is extremely significant and historic in some areas and we do see that a large portion of the northern midwest such as north dakota minnesota experiences is expected to experience over a tw um, 12 inches of snow and 6 to 12 inches just to the south of that so this is significant snow so make sure to take the right precautions and make sure to stay safe all throughout the northern midwest because blizzard conditions are likely especially since strong winds are also expected um to accompany the heavy snowfall you're gonna see but anyways guys i think you guys watch make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content and i hope you guys have a great day